our entrance of the phone. Christ, having risen from the dead, lies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In our Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great of sin, in my faults and in my words, and in what I have done, and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, in you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May when God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to lasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed into the image of our heavenly Maker. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in a unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and the elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God of one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth, and the sea, and of all that is in them, you who sang by the Holy Spirit for the mouth of our father David, your servant, why do the Gentiles rage? And the people entertain fully. The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in the city against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hands to heal and signs of wonders are done for the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the people utter folly? The kings of the earth raise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their feathers and cast their bolts from us. Bless us are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is thrown in the heavenly vaults, and the Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them.
terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are they who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Sometimes in the midst of everything going on, we get overwhelmed by it. 
We get freaked out over it. It upsets our norm. It upsets all of our life. And sometimes we're invited to prayer. And yet it's easy for us to turn on our tablet, our computer, our radio, whatever it might be, and to avoid that interaction, that conversation. I have to admit that still with some of my own things going on in my own life, that sometimes I forget that exchange that is important with God. And sometimes it just takes a subtle nudge, like today's psalm, to kind of remind me that everything's okay and that no matter where people are in my life or in my world, they're still there. Maybe you missed it. It was very subtle at the beginning of the second part of the psalm. It says, He who is throned in heaven laughs. My mother, before she passed, it was her favorite thing. She always had it in her room, which she called her she cave. And she had a picture of Jesus laughing. Jesus wasn't just a subtle laugh. It was a belly laugh. It was like, as she would call, a big, deep Irish laugh. And she always had it facing across from her in her chair behind the television. And she always used to say, if you really want to know how God feels about what you have planned, tell him, and then wait for the laughter. Because he'll laugh at whatever you think you want to have done. So even in the midst of all of these things going on that we want to have done or want there to be finished, the anxiety over the end of the month, will they lift the restrictions, will they not? It doesn't really matter. What we're called to do with today's readings is to know that we are born in water and the Spirit with Christ in a deeper relationship we are invited to, to God as Almighty Father. And maybe we need to just table our plans, let God laugh about them, and then just turn to Him in prayer. Dear brothers and sisters, now let's offer our needs and petitions to our Lord and Father. For Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide him as he shepherds his flock to church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God grant them the courage and wisdom in protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not yet believe in God, may the Lord stir in their hearts a desire to know him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit increase in us the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, particularly those who have no one else to pray for them, may the Lord welcome them into the heavenly kingdom. We also remember Paul D. Lovell. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, teach us to love again. Give us truly joy coming from you, coming from the Holy Spirit. We ask this in this time which we really need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Most are you, Lord God of all creation, for for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Go on the earth and work with your hands, 
It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for of your goodness we have received the wine meal for you, for the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and our all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the sufferings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great bloodless, grant also that a gift we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to allow you yet more glorious. When Christ our Master has been sacrificed, for him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all his risen. Therefore, overcome with festival joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers will the angelic hosts. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, your Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a new fold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he that took bread and giving thanks broken and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when Samuel was sent, he took the chalice and lots for giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and read from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us with you to be in your presence and minister to you. How can we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, O your church, that throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, Richard, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
out of the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, be blessed the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co hers to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God of my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously give peace in our lives, and help our mercy, may we always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, be severely you, I will say to you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. O live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Lord of God, the Holy Spirit who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our spiritual community prayer, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I am gracious if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
nor to be an unto Paul. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you, Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, Lord, and grant and pray that those who please to you by eternal mysteries may attain the flesh and incorruptible glory of your resurrection. In Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So I have called the potential defense model be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be your king and humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, for us to the hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the root of souls. Amen.